Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be talking about closing the books. Your final task in the accounting cycle is to close the books. To close the books is to ready each revenue and expense account for the next accounting period, to adjust the owner's equity account by the amount of the profit or loss incurred in the previous period, and to reflect money drawn by the owner for personal use. This is important because if the books are not closed properly, an inaccurate picture of the business's operations will result. After making all of these adjustments, closing entries must be made in the general journal. What are closing entries? Closing entries or closing journal entries are entries made at the end of an accounting period to zero out all temporary accounts and transfer their balances to permanent accounts. What are temporary and permanent accounts? A temporary account, also known as nominal account, is a general ledger account that begins each accounting year with a zero balance. Then, at the end of the year, its account balance is removed by transferring the amount to another account. As I've just mentioned, this is done through closing entries. The purpose of temporary accounts is to show the revenues, expenses, and withdrawals, or owner's drawing, that affect the owner's equity in that accounting period. In other words, all of the income statement accounts are classified as temporary accounts. A few other accounts, such as the owner's drawing account and the income summary account, are also temporary accounts. These accounts are closed at the end of the year. On the other hand, permanent accounts exist indefinitely, also known as real accounts. These balances are carried over from one accounting period to the next. You can see these accounts listed on the company's balance sheet. They show the company's actual worth at the time the balance sheet is created. The balances of these accounts are never closed or transferred to the company's capital account. It is not always necessary for a permanent account to hold a balance. If no transaction has been done, it may have a zero balance. You will conclude the closing process by making journal entries for each step. First, there are some new types of accounts to discuss. The drawing account is a ledger account in which you record money that the owner has withdrawn for his or her personal use. The ledger page is headed with the owner's name followed by the word drawing. For example, John Smith, comma, drawing. For each sum drawn by the owner, you credit cash and debit the drawing account. When the accounts are closed, the debit balance in the drawing account is charged against owner's equity. A new T account called Income Summary is a temporary account created to summarize the information from all the income statement, revenue, and expense accounts, and is only used when closing the books. The net amount transferred into the Income Summary account equals the net profit or net loss that the business incurred during the period. Here are the steps for closing the books. Number one, bringing revenue accounts to zero. You debit each revenue account in the ledger in the amount of its balance, bringing the accounts to zero and readying them to receive the revenue of the next accounting period. You then credit the income summary with the total of all revenues. Number two, bringing expense accounts to zero. You credit each expense account in the amount of its balance, bringing it to zero and reading it for the next accounting period. You then debit the income summary by the total of all expenses. Number three, balancing the income summary and adjusting the owner's equity account. You find the balance in the income summary account, add the debits and the credits. If the firm has made a profit, you will have a credit balance. You debit the income summary by this amount and credit the owner's equity account. Note, a debit balance in the income summary account shows that the business has incurred a loss. You credit the income summary for that amount and debit the owner's equity account. Number four, adjusting for the owner's draw. You credit the drawing account in the amount of its balance, total, and debit the owner's equity account in the same amount. 
These steps assume that the business is a proprietorship. In a corporation, you would have a dividends account showing dividends paid to stockholders, in addition to the income summary. Both these accounts will be closed to the retained earnings account. What is the post-closing trial balance? The post-closing trial balance is a list of all accounts and their balances after the closing entries have been journalized and posted to the ledger. In other words, the post-closing trial balance is a list of accounts or permanent accounts that still have balances after the closing entries have been made. This accounts list is identical to the accounts presented on the balance sheet. This is because all of the income statement accounts have been closed and no longer have a current balance. The purpose of preparing the post-closing trial balance is to verify that all temporary accounts have been closed properly and the total debits and credits in the accounting system equal, after the closing entries have been made. At this point, the accounting cycle is completed.